This will be Fred Lane trying for it outside. He gets the corner. Lane picks up a first down all the way up to the 44-yard line, a gain of 14. Berline pumps, throws it inside on the slant route, and hooks up to Masin Muhammad for nine yards. Run. Jeffers in motion. Berline setting Green. up the screen. What a catch. This is Fred Lane. Lane goes nowhere. London Fletcher over with a big defensive play. And London Fletcher is all over the field. Third down and four. Berline throws it outside. It's complete to Masin Muhammad. Muhammad with a first down all the way to the 36-yard line of the Rams. A gain of 15. Keith Lyle made the stop. Berline to throw quick again. Forces it inside to Muhammad one more time. His third catch already, a gain of four. Dre Bly in the mix, making the defensive play. Panthers lane in motion. Berline zips it out to his tight end, Wesley Walls. Walls with another first down, a gain of eight. Charlie Clements made the tackle. See what you get? You get bad matchups sometimes. Now, you see motion on first and 10 from the 21. Fred Lane. Getting outside again. Picks up six yards. Dexter McLeon ran him out. Tied being very effective. Second down and four. Play action. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Wesley Walls. His seventh of the year. He beat Todd Collins, the linebacker. That's the matchup Carolina wanted. That's a huge statement by the Panthers. Opening drive. A perfect run pass mix as far as I'm concerned. 9.38 left in the first quarter. Furline to Walls. Game against the Rams. He has lit him up in the pass as Kurt Warner on first and 10 from the 20. Throws as he's hit. There's a flag down as he completes it to Marshall Falk for a gain of one. Mike Barrow with the coverage, but there is a flag. Illegal hands to the face. Defense, number 90. That's a five-yard penalty with an automatic first down. Tim Morabito. Six games they won. The last two they lost. Third and ten. Warner under pressure. Wide open over the middle is Marshall Falk. Alexander better get on his horse. And Falk gets all the way down to the Carolina 23-yard line before the safeties. Alexander and Minter can run him down. 52 yards. Look like a, a pick play. First and ten. Warner into the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown Isaac Bruce. 22 yards. Bruce's 10th touchdown catch of the year. He beat Eric Davis. It's Warner to Bruce. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. Fred Lane out of the eye formation. Trying to get that corner again. Wow. Did He'll get you, eight yards. Did you see the block by William Floyd on Todd Light? One in the backfield. He'll take it on the draw. William Floyd. He can block, and now he shows you he can run up to the 40-yard line, a gain of 11. And from the 40. Burline dumps it outside to Fred Lane. Lane breaks one tackle up past the 45 to the 49-yard line. Grant Wistrom makes a hustling play. and right. No backs in the backfield. Lane in motion. Here comes the blitz. And this is intercepted. And that's Todd Light. at six. And Todd Light will go the distance. 56 yards, an interception return for a touchdown. Well, they're going to fight over that one. Todd Light working in there on Patrick Jeffers. Look at the jam. Boy, that's where he ate him up. And I don't know if Burline thought Jeffers was going to keep trying to come inside for the slant or go up the field, but the bottom line is that Todd Light ate Jeffers up in the line of scrimmage, and that's what Jeffers had been having a lot of problems with. Bump and run. He's a big, tall guy, and a lot of times, big, tall guys give you a big, tall target too. Todd Light knew that. He took advantage of it. It's off. He goes into motion. Play action. Pressure. Berline will be sacked. It's Kevin Carter, his eighth sack of the year. Game this afternoon at four o'clock. Second and nine. Warner throws it outside, and that is complete for a first down. He hit the rookie, Tory Holt, for 11. Third and seven. Warner with time, dumps it over the middle to Isaac Bruce. Bruce picks up the first down. 15 yards on the play. 
Second and 12. Hakeem in motion. Warner, it breaks down. Now he throws it outside. He's got a wide open tight end, Roland Williams, and he crawls for the first down. Did you see the pickup there by Marshall Falk? You talk about this guy being able to run the ball and then catching the ball. And the Rams to Carolina 42. Marshall Falk finds a gap up the middle. Down to the 34-yard line. Again, a seven. Mike Rucker makes the tackle. Had receivers. Roll in motion. Here comes the blitz. Warner throws it out quick, and that's complete to Ricky Kroll. First down, a gain of nine. Boy, here they go. Mike Rudadoria and uh, Barrow getting after it. Third down and five. Keem in motion. Warner out quick to Akeem. Works back inside, picks up the first down. A gain of six. Damian Richardson makes the tackle. What you're seeing now is some of that quick rhythm passing game and you know a lot of people talk about where does that come from well it goes all the way back you have to go all the way back to the la chargers in the old afl that's sid gilman receivers have caught passes for kurt warner now on first and ten with time to the corner of the end zone williams touchdown rolling williams 19 yards kurt warner's second touchdown toss of the day Roland Williams, fourth touchdown of the year, puts the Rams up by 14. Oz Akeem, back at his 25-yard line. Akeem, he's got the punter to beat, and Walter does a nice job of making the tackle, but not until Akeem picks up 20 yards on the return on a 36-yard punt, and St. Louis has the football in Carolina territory. Been able to make a big play at special teams. Warner on first down, throws it out to Ike Bruce. Bruce beats Evans outside for six yards. Panthers defensively trying to get dialed into a new system. And or Holcomb motions out of the backfield. Warner goes to him. Robert Holcomb with the catch, fumbled it. Look at this. Ball. This is going the other way with Mike Minter. And Kurt Warner has to force Minter out of bounds at the Rams 42-yard line. Wow. Mike Barrow popped it out. Minter picked it up. Burline stumbles. Play action looking downtown. Nothing's He's open. Get out of there. And now he'll be sacked. And that's London Fletcher coming out of coverage to sack Burline. Look, look at your guy, London <laughs> Fletcher. Outrun corners in that secondary. Second and 11. Wesley Walls, when in doubt, throw it to the Pro Bowler. He Absolutely. gets up to the 29-yard line. Pick up a 14. Brought down by Fletcher. Stepped in and done a great job. Pressure on Burline. Goes downfield for Muhammad. Mustin Muhammad inside the 10. He beat Dre Bly. You know what? The Rams didn't line up right away. They had problems getting lined up, and whenever you do that, most of the time you get burned. Team. Walls in motion. Erline with pressure. He's sacked again by Carter. DeMarco Farr in there as well. There's strike number one. Erline to throw. Pressure again. He gets away from Carter. Well, that's some good Berline. dancing by Burline. He's not a big dancer. Oh. Dances up to the five-yard line. You see that little move there? He came with the fake pass well beyond the line yeah. of scrimmage, and they went for it. Burline to Johnson, knocked Great away. Play. Great Billy play. Jenkins. Billy Jenkins, a strong safety. And John Casey on to kick the 24-yarder, and he does. So Carolina does get points off the turnover. It's now 21 to 10, St. Louis. Two timeouts. Warner will go to the air. There's Bruce. He didn't get enough on it. From George Isaac Bruce, and that's going to be intercepted by Eric Davis. Mm. Bad, Davis bad, first bad interception move of the year. By Kurt Warner. Bye. Johnson in motion. I think they're going to help out the line. Burline. to be sacked again. Kevin Carter. Two and a half sacks today. He had three last week. 
Rams went into a little different look this time. Anthony Johnson on a draw. Johnson stays alive outside, stumbles his way into Ram territory all the way up to the 43-yard line. Clock is ticking. They'll need to down this football Johnson's see if they can get, get up. another play. Johnson cannot lay around there. Ten halftime leads. Stay tuned. The Visa Halftime Report coming up all after a word from your local Fox station. On seven. Okay. Blitz comes. Berline throws it out quick to Walls. Walls runs into Jenkins. He fumbles the football. This is picked up by Mike Jones. Touchdown Rams. 34 yards, Jones. And the Rams have scored twice on defense. Now the Rams decide to come with the blitz. That means they're going to be short on coverage with Walls. And now watch this. Oh, it was Jones now who ripped it out. that was Jones that ripped it out. Strikes again on defense. And they take the lead 30 to 10. He has stop gap in that position. Third and 11, and Burline throws Let's it down. And watch out. Flag. Whoa. Keith Lyle put a big hit on Masin Muhammad, and they're both down. Anthony Johnson in the game in the backfield for Lane as Burline throws it outside to Muhammad. Oh, what a catch. First down as Muhammad beats Dre Bly on an out route. I'm surprised they're not trying to take advantage of that matchup even more. The yardage receiver in the NFC, third in the NFL. As Berline on first and ten goes over the middle. He's got Muhammad again. Muhammad all the way up to the 45-yard line. Over 100 yards on the day. Seventh time in his career he's done that. His eighth catch of the day. Balls got him in the first quarter as Berline on third and nine. Going to be forced out by DeMarco Fire. He throws it downfield, and he's got his man, and that's Masin Muhammad. His ninth catch of the day, good for 22 yards, you know, working uh, on Rich Cody. Uh, people. 11th play of the drive, eating up 7 minutes and 28 seconds off the clock. The blitz comes from Burline, and now he'll get hit from behind. That's Jay Williams making the sack, his first sack of the season. Burline back to throw. He's got a wide open... Patrick Jeffers. Jeffers scrambles trying to get that first down. He's going to be a yard or two short after he got 11 on the play. Rich Cody with the stop. Berline will throw. Almost picked off. Good defensive play from Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Trying to get it into Wesley Walls. Jones was all over him. And the fourth down conversion is no good. And the St. Louis Rams with the lead. We'll take over. Beating your front seven, you're going to be able to make a lot of plays like that. If nothing else, be around the football. And they go to the ground with Marshall Falk, who runs over a couple of men up to the 10 yard line. Mike Barrow ends up getting planted, but he makes the tackle due to the NFL blackout rules. But second and seven, and Warner goes to the air. He's got a man wide open. That's his tight end, Roland Williams, and Williams. Gashes it all the way up to the 31-yard line, but there is a flag, a flag down. down. 34 yeah. yards on the play. You're going to get a hold but it's there. coming back. Do you know what? That's the thing, what it's about. Holding offense number 60, 10-yard penalty. It remains second down. Mike Grudadoria. Dallas, Sam Peasy having Novacek. You have to have that guy, then you have to have this guy here. And that guy is Marshall Fault for 10 yards. Mike Minter gets him down, but, boy, with their third offense, they may never have to. Third and six, and this is complete to Wesley Walls, who fell to his knees and still made the catch. Good enough for a first down. Yeah, that knee, Walls, of course, injured that knee last week. Been one, two in a row all year. Looking for that today. Doesn't look good as Burline drops it off to William Floyd, and Floyd gets another first down up to the 43-yard line to pick up a 15. Debacle, meltdown in Detroit. Third and nine. Burline goes over the middle to Jeffers as Todd Light slipped and fell down. Jeffers wide open into Rams territory to the 35 again at 22. Now th that's that's working that's right there. Third and ten. Blitz comes. Burline throws it up top. Intercepted. Dre Bly. Second interception of his young career. 
Leading interceptor in the history of the ACC with 20 in college is Warner. Tries to go downtown. He's got Holcomb. Holcomb's got the ball up to the 38, but there is a flag back at the line of scrimmage. 30 yards if it stands. Like St. Louis. Personal foul grasping the face mask on the defense number 46. This is a personal foul prior to a completion. 15, 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. The six yard line as Isaac Bruce goes across in motion. Tossed out to Marshall Falk. And Falk runs into Eric Davis. And play the game. Offense number 86. 10 yard penalty. Repeat. First down. With this up the field offense and then Warner comes in. It just all kind of clicked. Warner hits Falk out of the backfield. Marshall Falk is tackled into the locker room after having a career high nine grabs for 125 yards today. Here's Floyd on the screen. And William Floyd gets a first down before he is run out of bounds by Charlie Clemens. That's good. And St. Louis can put it away. Five straight division games, including today's, is Burline. Gets open, finds Donald Hayes for a first down, and Hayes gets it out of bounds up at the 46-yard line. Pickup of 24 on the play. Dre Bly forced him out. Granted, Carolina went down the field and jumped on him, but I'm talking about when they don't have their offense come on the field and make a play, how will they respond then when they don't have points at the back on defense? Ray Agnew responds. He gets a sack. Kissing all the old greats up there. This one is incomplete. They'll bring up a fourth down intended for Hayes. The right. They knew the whole time they were moving the ball. They were making yards. What? They were making yards. And they were coming up with plays like that. Unbelievable season. He throws it outside. Bruce with a one-hand grab and the first down. On third and four, Warner will go back to the air. Lost it out to Robinson, his tight end wide open. Robinson up to the 25-yard line. Minter gets him, but not until the Rams tack on 30 more yards. First and 10, Marshall Falk on the toss, up to the 20. Down to the 17-yard line, a gain of eight. Mike Barrow makes the play. Second down and two. Falk tries the other side. Falk, he's going to the end zone. Touchdown. St. Louis, no flags. Great block from Jeff right. Robinson. Falk goes 18 yards, and they do the dance. Yeah, right. over Carolina. Marshall Falk running touchdown, his third touchdown on the ground. Watch Holcomb lead up in here. And it's one thing to have ability to run. It's another thing to be able to cut off your block. He's got that good decision, but look at that hole. Yeah, Orlando Pace. We could go nice through there. Too. Yeah, Pace doing a good job. Orlando Pace has gotten a lot better. He's put on a little weight. I mean, he's got, he lost some of that quote unquote baby fat that he had coming from college. I'm talking to Jim Hannafin, the offensive line coach. So that's been the difference for him. You know, he's turned into a pretty good left tackle in the league. Very young, just turned 30, 24. That has a lot to do with it coming in early. Pace in his third year, coming out of Ohio State. Top pick in the draft. That was an eight-play, 78-yard drive for the Rams, capped off by Marshall Falk's 18-yard touchdown run, and Marshall Falk doing what he's been doing, 137 total yards in that touchdown. All right, just another day at the office for Kurt Warner. A couple touchdowns of the offense back into sync after a couple of weeks where things didn't go quite your way. Well, you know, we just wanted to come out and set the tempo early. I think we did that with our first drive, even though uh, they came out and scored. But, you know, we answered that. We did a lot of good things the first half. Obviously, the defense came up with a couple big plays. And, and uh, you know, really, second half, we weren't out on the field very much. But uh, you got to credit our defense. They played a great game today, got a couple big turnovers, touchdowns. And so, uh, you know, the offense kind of laid back a little bit and watched the defense go to work, and they played a great game. Getting back into the home dome, that's always nice. No communication problems, didn't burn any uh, unnecessary timeouts. No, it's always nice to have these guys behind you instead of against you. And, uh, you know, our fans are great. They do a great job getting us pumped up and, uh, you know, giving us some momentum as we come back home. Talk about the Warner Brothers and what a job they've continued to do. The weapons continue to strike where you need them. Well, they do. You know, we got guys that are going to make plays, and uh, that's what it's all about. We're out. We're going out there. We're making plays every week, putting ourselves in positions to win. And we just got to continue to do that, continue to uh, to make the plays when they're there, and, and we're going to be in good shape the rest of the season. All right, Kurt. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Once